Hey guys, we'll see 69 here back at you and welcome to the channel and for another episode of Shitbox Central. So, a uh, little update on old Project Joey the Franklin Ford over here. Uh, I did uh, end up pulling the cam out of that engine and I, I, I'll i tell you, the, the cam bearings are toast, guys. So, we are going to have to buy that tool and uh, replace the cam bearings. They are just, they're annihilated. I'm really surprised that... Uh, that they didn't spin you know it's kind of unfortunate because i didn't want to buy any more tools i was trying to like you know we're trying to do this as cheaply as possible on the low book for sure um but yeah we are gonna have to buy this but you know i did find some for like 60 70 dollars on like ebay and some are racing they i think even has one for like 70 80 bucks so it's not too bad it won't add too much to the cost uh, let me go ahead and show you guys uh, just how bad these things are like these things are toast guys look at that like my god that thing is just eating away and and all of them are pretty much just like that i think one in the center is a little bit better but yeah they're just it's like just missing chunks so so really i'm, I'm kind of glad i ended up pulling that thing out i originally was just going to leave the cam in there and just send it but uh i'm i'm really glad i pulled that thing out because uh, it probably wouldn't have been too much longer before those would have spun um so on uh trying to find a set of heads and trying to find a set of pistons and let me tell you guys trying to find a set of pistons for this thing it's almost impossible it's kind of a hybrid engine it's got gen 4 rods with floating pin pistons um, I'll just go ahead and show you guys what I mean here. Uh, what I mean by that is that the piston rings, or the, the piston pins, uh, it's a floating design, but these are Gen 4 dimple rods right here. So, it, it, you know, like, I can find, like, the press pin uh, pistons with Gen 3 rods, like, all day long. Uh, but I'm trying to find the floating pin pistons and those are just like they seem like they're hard to find used so, so I don't know what happens to them everybody throws them away I know they've been uh, using this kind of design since like 2005 so I figured there'd be a bunch out there but there's just not now for the heads on the other hand uh, there's a lot of 706 heads out there uh, most people are asking for like you know two three hundred bucks for a pair which I think is a little bit too much because, you know, honestly, you know, you can probably pick up another LS engine for like three or $400, you know, I, I've seen them that cheap, you know, even as much as like 600, even that would be a better deal than buying just the heads for 300 bucks. So, um, I was on Facebook Marketplace. This is probably maybe a couple weeks ago. I was perusing just right after I made uh, the last video on the update for the Explorer and some kid in a town next to me was selling a set of heads and let me tell you 40 dollars for these heads uh now they don't look good they're they're not great they're in a little rough shape but they're definitely better than the heads that you know that i pulled off this engine let me show you guys uh what they look like this is this is what i picked up you know twenty dollars a head i mean hell you can't even get a hoe for that but um i'm thinking we can probably fix these i mean they're a little rough they're a little crusty you know we got some uh critter action going up in here like this guy he tried to get in a valve i don't know what happened to him but um he's been petrified for a while we got all kinds of stuff in the coolant passages look at that all kinds of bugs yeah, look at that the little spider web and all those little carcasses and stuff. Like, I mean, I know it looks a little rough on the outside, guys, but I I really think that uh, you know we can we can fix these up. And honestly, I mean, here's the old one right here. I mean, it, it's pretty obvious that we can't use this. I mean, it is just it's obviously torn up. You know, it, it looks really bad. So yeah, guys. Um, I mean, the heads look a little rough, but uh, one of the heads uh, I've been working on for like the past week, and let me tell you, these things, I think they're going to work. I think they're going to work out for us. 
Um, I got one right here that I've been working on for the past week, and look at that, guys. That cleaned up really nice. Like, I'm happy. I'm really happy with how well these turned out. You know, all it really took is a lot of time. I mean, we got some staining right here, um, you know, just from where the head gasket was and stuff. But uh, I think everything is going to work out really good. That's a little dirt right there, still left over, but yeah. Um, yeah, I just cleaned up the valve seats really good. Um, I got some really cheap uh, valve lapping compound. Now, I couldn't use the valves that were in it. They were a little toasty. Um, I'll show you what the, they look like over here. Like, yeah, these things are just, like, they're annihilated. They got a whole bunch of crust and stuff on them. This is one of the springs, yeah, which is pretty much gone. <clears throat> I tried cleaning the rust off the, the old bench grinder here, and, uh, you know, you can still see that they were really pitted. So what I opted to do, I ended up taking the valves out of one. I took the valves out of this one right here and just, uh, you know, I relapped them. And I got them over here stuffed in this box. Uh, they came out really nice, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That's kind of a, not a good view. And let me use my other hand here. Get the light out of it. Yeah, but look at that. That came out really nice. So I just took the other valves out of the original heads and put them in the other heads and lapped them. And those seats came out pretty good. I'm gonna check them to see if they leak, you know, after I get the springs back on, but I think, I really think that they're gonna be fine. All I did was I used, uh, used some of this valve lapping compound here, got it off of Amazon. I want to say it was like maybe six bucks and then i got a couple of these sticks here i ended up putting uh just a little socket attachment on these little sucker cups here and just use a drill to just kind of go in and out like that you know and it seemed to work really good you know it took about you know maybe 20 minutes for each cylinder you know to get in there clean it up and stuff like that but uh honestly i mean it came out came out great like I'm really excited that these $40 heads I mean I'm I'm more than confident that these heads are gonna work um, so I mean I guess running total on that would be you know $40 for the heads it cost me like maybe 15 bucks to go into the neighboring town I mean literally they're like 25 miles away uh, to go pick them up so you know a little bit of gas money there a couple sodas um, but yeah, we're not spending a whole lot of money on these heads, guys. I think they're going to work out just fine. Really, I mean, honestly, there's only one way to find out, and that is just to put them on the engine and see if we got compression. I mean, because at the end of the day, that's all we need to do. You know, I just want to go down the street and do some burnouts and stuff. So, um, if it works, that'll be awesome. So, um, I'll get some shots and, you know, some quick shots try to show you, you know, the process of what I use to, to do that. Um, I'm not going to be able to put this engine together yet because like I said, I'm still, I'm still trying to find some pistons. They're really hard to find. Um, I'm just going to keep looking. Hopefully I can find something sometime in the month of August. Um, uh, if that doesn't work out, we may end up having to buy some new ones. I really don't want to do that because you know that's definitely going to jack up the cost on this at least you know a set of speed pros is like 300 bucks you know and if i'm in that kind of territory i might as well just go ahead and get like you know the summit pro ls ones that way you know we'll just we'll be ready for some boost you know if i get those but then again you know that adds adds cost to the engine and i do not want to do that like i said we're trying to do this on the cheap and uh we're gonna try our best to stick to that so anyway that's just the update for now um like i said i'll get you some shots you know of me trying to restore it's just just a few you know it's a long process lapping these valve guys it's a really long process so i will get a few shots show you what i'm doing and then uh that'll be it for this one okay so before we get started, we'll take one last picture, see what it looks like. I'll go ahead and start popping these valves out. 
Um, in case, uh, if you guys don't have one of a valve spring compressor, you can just make one out of some flat bar. That's all I did right here. This actually works pretty damn good, guys. Um, it didn't cost me a dime, so we're, we're staying true to form, doing this cheap as possible. We're not buying anything that we don't need. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to get the valves out of this guy. I'm going to lap them over here to this guy. We'll get right back to you. Alright guys, finally got our head all cleaned up. It's had its initial bath. Uh, we got our donor valves out, ready to go. Uh, we do got a little extra crust on a couple of these valve seats. I don't, man, I don't know if that's going to clean up or not. We're going to find out though. That one's, this one here is pretty crusty. Uh, this one here's got a little extra crust on it. This one for sure, it's got some crust on it. It just seems to be the intake valves for some reason. I think the valve guides will clean up pretty good. I think it's just kind of gummed up with some old oil and stuff. I got a little gun cleaning brush that I've been using in those to try to get those clean. But yeah, they're a little, they're a little crusty. No rust though. I mean, it's just really just gummed up oil that's inside of those. But I think they'll be fine. If not, we got a donor head we can take some off of.
Okay guys, I went ahead and installed another spring up on these valves here. Um, I got the intake one all done. Uh, we got it all lapped and everything. What we're, we're gonna do now is we're just gonna do a simple little air check. Got some uh, soapy water here I'm gonna put on there. And we're just gonna check it. We're gonna shove a, <clears throat> we're just gonna spray some air up in this, ex up in this intake port here and see if we get any bubbles. Go ahead and check this exhaust one. I haven't done it yet. We'll just see how bad it is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, guys. It is about 3 in the morning. It has been a long night. Now, I will say this. I got kind of a late start. I slept till about 4.30 today or yesterday, I should say. And we didn't get started out here till a little after five. So, but anyway, I mean, we we spent the entire time out here. I did take a couple little breaks. We got a couple sodas at the gas station a few times, and then I did get something to eat. But all in all, we spent the entire night out here in the garage. Uh, but we got that other head done, and it's looking absolutely awesome. I'm really impressed with how well it's turned out. Look at that guys, they are looking beautiful. 40 bucks, that's all it cost. You know, it took about two full days on all to get them done, but uh, I think it was worth it. We're gonna find out anyway. Um, about an hour of valve is what I spent on it. Now I'm not quite done yet. What we're, we're gonna do tomorrow, I'm gonna take these things to car wash. We're gonna blast them out as best as we can. And then when I get them home again, uh, I'm going to soak them in a garbage can full of uh, like some Dawn detergent and maybe some laundry detergent. Just let them soak there for about half a day with some scalding hot water uh, to cut all the oil and grime off of them and everything. And then uh, we'll be ready to put these things back together. I'm going to have to order some seals for them before we do that. But uh, yeah, I think, I think they're going to work out just fine. Um, was it worth it? I think so. I think so. Um, like I said, I only paid $40 for these things and it took about two days worth of work to kind of resurrect them. So, um, really there's only one way to find out and that is just to put them on the engine and see how well they do. And at the end of the day, like I said before, all I want to do is go down to the gas station or a grocery store and do some burnouts on the way. So if they can do that for me, that's perfect. So that's about going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Until next time, we'll see you.